Luke, Tom, and Nate here at the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, and today we are going to be hiking, camping, fishing. We're here in Whittier, Alaska. Hopefully, if all goes well, we are going to get to camp by the ocean and do some surf fishing and uh, not get eaten by bears. Are you guys excited? Yeah! <laughs> All right. Yeah, is that doing okay? <laughs> you okay? It rains a ton here, and we're actually really lucky. The weather's perfect today. Now jump under the lock. Check this out. This is Devil's Club. What is it? You know, what, you know why they call it Devil's Club? Look at all those spikes. Yes. And it's got a poison in it. So if it scratches you, it makes it makes it burn really bad. We probably should have brought our fishing boots. It is so much mud, isn't there? Yeah. Mud does look like chocolate pudding. Here, Tom, give me your hand. Now scoot across. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, Nathan stepped in that mud and he like disappeared. Some more blueberry bushes. Is it white blueberries? These are blueberries. I want to have one too. Yeah, yeah, sure. They're white or blueberries. Mm. But look at this. These are all blueberry bushes right here. That? I think I just saw a watermelon, watermelon bush. Oh, you saw a watermelon berry? Yeah. We're here in late July and there are berry bushes everywhere. We've got salmon berries, blueberries, watermelon berries. Yeah, that one's not ripe yet though. Yeah, check this out. This is a good one here. Is Go it for it. Belly? Wanna eat that? Can I eat this? Yeah. It tastes good. That's gorgeous. Bear? Yeah, stay close, Nathan. There's a lot of bears here. I brought along a can of bear spray uh, in case we run into any bears. Also, a lot of people will tell you to make noise when you're on the trail. <laughs> this is an unnecessary thing when hiking with Nathan and Tom. <laughs> See, check that out, guys. Bear poop. That's black bear poop. Okay, now find a rock you can kneel down on without getting muddy and super wet. Okay, clip your backpack. Oh, that tastes is good. This is the Life Straw. It's a filter that allows you to drink water in the wilderness safely. And they're a few bucks and they're really light. And so I just give them to each one of the kids and then they can drink out of the streams. See, we're just walking along the coast, trying to get to a deserted cove. Oh. So we gotta cross this little creek. Do this. Give me your hand. There you go. Give me your head. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the bridge broke. Dad. Yeah, it was way quick. It's Nate's in the mud. Get around to the jungle. Oh, look at that cliff. This is shark skin. 
Yeah, yeah the start careful. Yeah. Mud. <laughs> I got wet. Both the boys want a little backpack break. Ooh. How are you guys doing? You muddy? Yeah. Everything about this hike is wet and muddy. Even this beautiful little field is soggy. Look at this. See? It's hard to even find a spot to sit or put your backpack down that isn't covered in water and mud. Oh, oh that's deep. Careful, you don't want to fall down that. Step like a ladder onto these roots. Okay? Well, this is the first real hike where the boys have had to carry a significant pack and they've done really well. It's about five miles, but uh, their shoulders are hurting. So we're taking turns having me carry one of their packs. And that seems to help them, give them a little encouragement. The hard part is that I've got two of them. So if both of them poop out on me, it's really hard to carry both of their packs and mine. But uh, they're doing real good so far. Oh, you find crowberries? Crowberries! Yeah! Yeah, there's a little crowberry. I see the bridge, all right. Look at that. I can see a cove over there. So look at this. Oh, look, there's like a little island. Oh! Oh! No, this is a nice place to camp. Are you relaxing? This is a comfy spot. No explore a little bit. Check it out guys. Hey guys, check it out. This is a bladder wart. Mm, Trap an edible seaweed. What do you think of that? Yeah, see that's a sea urchin right there guys. Did you climb all the way up there? Yep, open the You want some help getting down? You don't need any help? Of course you don't. Oh. Well, this looks like a nice spot to camp. We're up high enough that I think we'll be dry even at high tide. You can see the seaweed marks uh, where they've had more recent high tides. And we've got a little bit of flat ground here. Yeah, I think we might be okay. Plus, uh, these rocks are a good place to focus for fish. So we might actually get lucky with a little surf fishing. The kids are really hungry, as they should be. So we are going to go ahead and just pop open some uh, some of this granola because it doesn't take any cooking. Find that plant in this book. Oh, there we go, blueberry granola. Put on your head. Here. Big tangle of stuff here. Look at that light up. Well, the boys have been playing while I got the tent pitched and the fire started, and Tommy over there is just popping limpets as fast as he can. Are you eating limpets? Yeah, I'm eating limpets. I, I only ate one. You only ate one limpet? All right, boys, you want lasagna or beef stew? Beef, beef stew! All right, beef stew it is. I must open my knife. Okay, let's... There you go, buddy. Wait, I want to eat everything we have. Yeah, I found... Yeah, come over here. Oh. Alright, frozen chunk of herring here.
Now I've been telling the boys that the best skipping rocks in the world are here in Whittier. Whoa! Whoa! We're gonna hop off into the woods here a little bit and try to get some fresh berries and water. Are those ripe? Yeah. If they're soft between your fingers and they fall off the branch or the bush really easy, they're ripe. All right, come on, let's keep walking. Yeah, that's a good bush. Salmon berry bush. So oh, there's a bunch of them. Hey, hey Tom. Salmon berry. Oh, hey, I'm you okay, Nathan? Oh, yeah, that's what. What? That's a beauty. I don't see it. It's with water. Oh, here's some good ones. Oh, yep, yeah, here we go. Got some water. Phew. Because I've got this six liter bladder I'm going to fill up with water. And I've got this chloroflock. It kills bacteria and viruses, and it makes any solids and yucky stuff in the water fall out. Once you've mixed the chloroflock and the water, you shake it up for like one minute straight. There you go. <laughs> oh, whoa. I almost fell on this. Oh. Nice, get grabbed, Dad. Oh. Oh. Ooh. We made it back. You see how the water's kind of Change in color, it's getting a little bit lighter. And if we let it sit, all this stuff will start to settle to the bottom. Hike. All right, should we get you out of your wet clothes there and cup you can? Oh, oh. <laughs> I've never seen so much water in such a little shoe. There you go, put all the boys' clothes up on this log to dry downwind from the fire. There you go, the water's looking pretty good. The chloroflock has knocked a big layer of mud to the bottom. Whoa, that fills the whole thing up. Yeah, that's a lot of berries, guys. But the salmon berries. Let's get the boys' beds all made up. I'm really stoked for the kids to use these uh, new Big Agnes sleeping bags I bought them. Uh, this one's the Wolverine and that one's the Little Red and it fits Tommy and Nathan perfectly. And these are 15 degree mummy bags from a good reputable company and they have a sleeve on the bottom so that their mat inserts into their uh, sleeping bag and they can't roll off their, their uh, mat. I'm going to be trying out a brand new air mattress today. This is the Sea to Summit Comfort Light. It's not a self-inflating um, mat, but the bag is a pump. Put it in like this, pump up the sack, and then we just squeeze the sack and it inflates it. Uh, I can't make a oh, make mummy I'll... bag. All right, we're gonna have a little lasagna before bed here. And a roll, put on it, boom. Liking that? Yeah. It's tasty with a knife. Is anything more sport kind of way? You you've got so much on your face. Have you? <laughs> Yeah, my brother loaned me this can of bear spray and uh, I think it's over 20 years old. I believe we bought this when we were teenagers, but I've never actually sprayed this. I've carried cans many times and I know people who've had to use it on bears, but I've never used it. So I think I'm gonna test it. Just, you know, see what happens. We're gonna get downwind a bit. Got this little safety right there and Oh, well, there you go, it's 20 years old and it still works. Doesn't go that far. I'd say maybe 15 feet, 20 feet with the wind at your back. Man, you don't wanna get this stuff in your face. I had a friend once who tested a can of mace while sitting in my car. It wasn't fun. <laughs> this is what 9 p.m. in Alaska looks like, but the boys are tuckered out and it's past their bedtime. So 
We're getting them in their beds and we're gonna get them all asleep. I really don't want to rebuild the fire tomorrow morning, so I want it to last all night long. So I piled up a bunch of wood, covered it in wet seaweed, and put up some wind blocks, and just tried to smother it so that it's slow roasting down there. And hopefully there'll be lots of coals come tomorrow. Well, Nathan has already completely zonked out, so we're gonna let him rest, and me and Tommy are gonna watch some movies on our phone, aren't we, buddy? I was sitting in bed and almost asleep, and I start hearing splashing. There's pink salmon jumping, jumping all over this cove. Salmon aren't in love with still bait out in the ocean. Our lure would really be better, but well, let's give it a shot and see what happens. I lost three rigs and caught only a starfish, so I think that's a sign it's not a time to go back to bed. Good morning, Nathan. Good morning. <laughs> Putting the shoes and socks next to the fire. They're not going to dry out completely, but at least they'll be warm when they put them on. Mines are hard. They're like hard wood. Use up the last of our berries. The boys are eating wild berry granola, and I've got some dehydrated breakfast skillet here. Well, after my first night on the Sea to Summit Comfort Light, I really like it. That's a, that's a mat I'm gonna be using again. What do you think of your sleeping bags? Love it. Love it. <laughs> They're nice, aren't they? Well, boys, you ready to hike back? Yeah. Yeah, all right, let's do it. Ocean snack. Mm. Bladder wart. There's these little bubbles on the end of the seaweed. And uh, it actually tastes good. It's kind of like salty garden peas. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah! Look at this, as treacherous as this trail is, the view is amazing. Dude, I do have to take a bath today. Oh yeah, we all need baths. Uh oh, I, th I think we found a deep hole. Here, here, we're gonna get you up. Give me a, give me a hand. Ugh. Go wash off of that stream. Here, Nate, give me a hand. Oh. The forests of Alaska from here in Whittier all the way down south to about Kachkan are mostly rainforest. It rains over 200 days a year. We get this incredibly lush, thick vegetation, yeah, but it's just an amazing ecosystem. A wet one, but it's pretty awesome. Man down. We can see the car. We made it. Oh, my shoulders are a little tender. Well, you guys want to get some food before we head back? Yeah. All right, guys, who wants ice cream? Please. We've got cotton candy, mousse flavor, and caribou flavor. Which one do you want? Couldn't pick a more beautiful day today. Mm.
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed filming it. If you guys want to see more outdoor adventures, hiking, camping, survival videos, that sort of thing, don't forget to click subscribe to the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.